This is a website called playingcards.io. And the nice thing about this website is that it lets you play card games with as many friends or family as you want. Um, and the nice thing about this is that whatever you do with the cards, your friends can see it at the same time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a room. And so for example, if I go over here, here I am, I'm ready to create a room. And so I'll go ahead and press start game. And now I have a link or a URL that I can go ahead and email or share with my friends or family. So this is this link right here, this URL is the same thing over here. Okay, and so I just have to send this to my friends. I'm going to show you how it looks like uh, when two people are playing at the same time. So I'm going to enter right now, and here I am. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a new window because I want to show you what it looks like. Now, obviously, you're not going to do this when you're playing with another person. So if I go over here, uh oh. All right, so here's a new window, and we're going to pretend our friend is playing here, okay? Now, in real life, you're not going to do this because your friend is somewhere else, okay? So your friend is now in the same place, in the same website as you are, and your friend enters, and now look at this, okay? Here's you on the left. Here's your friend over here, okay? Now... If I press recall and shuffle, that's your friend's going to see the same thing as well, okay? So now, when you pick a card, click, your friend is going to see that also, okay? When your friend takes a card and clicks it, you can see that as well, okay? The nice thing about this too is you can also take a card and hide it from your friends and you can see it while your friend can't see it, okay? So I can get a few cards and hide it from my friends. And your friend can also do the same thing, get a few cards and hide it. Now, this briefcase here uh, is another way to, uh, is one way to do different things with this. So for example, you can, if you want, you can put a counter right here and you can say, this is Bob's points. And then you can add another counter and say, this is Cindy's points, Cindy's points, okay? So now you have a counter for the game. Now, if I get out of here by clicking the briefcase again, now I have two counters, one for Cindy's points and one for Bob's points, okay? And I can keep track of who wins and who loses, okay? Um, another thing, too, is if you click the briefcase again, you could click over here and you can add or remo remove cards. So for example, if you want jokers, you put them in. If you don't want jacks, queens, or kings, you can subtract that, okay? You can also, let me get out, get out of here. You can also recall the cards. You can shuffle them up. You can also say, hey, I want all the cards back, and you can keep playing. You can play your games, okay? So this is pretty cool, all right? I hope this is helpful for whenever you're playing games with playing cards and your friends or family are in other places.